Hello guys, how is everybody doing today? How is your NCLEX review going? Today in this video, I will be talking about GERD or gastroesophageal reflex disease. So gastroesophageal reflex disease or GERD is a digestive disorder that affects the lower esophageal sphincter or LES, which is basically the ring of the muscles between the esophagus and the stomach. And basically what occurs is that stomach acid or stomach content, there would be a backflow into the food pipe or what we call esophagus due to a weakened esophageal sphincter okay now the backflow or the reflux can irritate the lining of the esophagus and causes you to have pain and that's what GERD is okay so again there's basically an inappropriate relaxation of the LES muscle or the lower esophageal sphincter right which is the ring muscle between the esophagus and the stomach therefore causing the backflow of GI contents up into the esophagus and the gastric acid and the pepsin can cause tissue injury within our esophagus and this can uh, result in uh, what we call Barre's epithelium or Barre's syndrome. So what is Barre's epithelium or Barre's syndrome? It, it's basically, it basically refers to the abnormal change with, which is what we call metaplasia within the cells of the lower portion of the esophagus and and this is this occurs due to the backflow of the, the gastric acid and the pepsin and it's usually characterized by the replacement of this what we call normal squamous epithelium lining within the esophagus and it becomes replaced with simple columnar epithelium with goblet cells right and basically these goblet cells are usually what is found in the the GI tract and the problem with, with this is that this can be a medical issue because there's a strong association with Barre's esophagus or Barre's epithelium with esophageal adenocarcinoma, which is basically esophageal cancer. So basically, uh, this can be considered a pre-malignant condition. Okay, so we need to uh, be aware of this. So how do we assess our patients? We can see that the patient might have heartburn or what we call dyspepsia, and it's the pain can be up and down the chest region. There can also be regurgitation. So we got to monitor for crackles in the lungs because the patient can be a risk for aspiration, okay? There could also be hypersalivation and dysphagia. Now, dysphagia could be due to the narrowing of the esophagus. So the constricting of the esophagus can cause dysphagia, okay? Now, let's look at the treatment for our patient. We can administer antacids because what it does is it neutralizes the acidity in the stomach and examples could be mylanta and malox. We could also give the patient uh, PPI or protein pump inhibitors and this reduces the production of acid again. Main drugs that you might encounter in the NCLEX can include lenzoprazole and omeprazole, okay? Uh, lastly, another group of uh, drugs that we can give our patients are histamine H2 blockers. And again, these can also uh, help neutralize and decrease the production of acid in the stomach. Now, like I said before, guys, I'm just going to make this short and sweet. And uh, I will go over more of these diseases in the next few videos. Again, thank you so much for listening, for watching. I really do appreciate it. I wish you the best in your NCLEX exam. I know you guys will do great. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye.